a good one. It's a good one. Oh, he came up for it. What's going on, guys? I got some goodies today from Carl's Bait and Tackle. Or Shop Carl's, whatever you guys want to call it. Um, so, I'm going to start off with, I got the uh, Baby Bull Shad. And this was a uh, bluegill pattern, which is very, one of my favorite patterns to use. And I also got the, I've been wanting these for a while, guys. Um, it's the electric shad five pack bio spawn exo swims in 4.75 inch i'm so excited to use these um i can't wait to use them i'm currently about to rig up my rods with these and uh hopefully you know when i get out there they catch some freaking mondos i guess we'll find out in a bit but yeah um before I get out there and before I I'm gonna before I get out there I'm gonna do this real quick and um but aside from that I just wanna give you guys a shout out for being like the most amazing subscribers on YouTube because uh yeah man you guys show a lot of support and even though I haven't um not blah, 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 let me let me restart that even though um, I haven't posted a video in a few days. I've, I'm still keeping up with the, you know, two videos a week. Um, I'm just gonna have to obviously post a video late this week because um, my freaking, uh, what you call it? My SD card, when I went to go transfer all my files to my iPad, because I do all my editing on an iPad, but when I went to go do that the other night, all my files got corrupted therefore made my videos trash and i had um like two or three worth two or three videos worth of files on the sd cards that i have and um some good ones too because i've been on like fire lately you know i've been um catching not a lot of fish but the fish that i do catch i think the smallest fish i've caught lately has been like two pounds but um and the biggest fish being like four and a half five pounder um luckily i do got like a bunch of pictures shaped but um the video itself is uh missing so that kind of blows but you know crap happens and uh it's just gonna make me want to grind harder and put out uh get more content for you guys and Put out great videos for you guys and whatnot but the baby bull shad is officially and i never take these off this is a weight stop i never i just leave them on the line and um so if you guys are wondering why i just slid that back down i just leave them on there so when i have to like if i if i have to cut this off and i want to put like a texas rig or something something that has weight on it i just slide it back down and you know put them but this is officially rigged up ready to go Let's uh, over here. Okay. All right. Time for the nice setup. I got a spinner bit on this one, which I was half tempted to leave it on there, but I was like, you know what? Man? I'm gonna take it off and uh, tie on the Exo Swim. Cause why not right i got him for a reason but um i'm gonna finish these guys up I'm, I'm gonna finish tying these uh baits up guys and i'll see you when i'm out of the water okay peace all right guys so i'm gonna start off with the uh baby bull shed swim bait um it's supposed to be like a slow sinking swim bait so let me see about that it is wow the action in the water is actually really crazy. Crazy good. Can't wait to get this thing completely annihilated by some bass. Guys, this action is crazy good, man. I am so happy I got this. I had been wanting it for a long time. 
and um, I, I wasn't able to get it because every time I would check the website or whatever, you know, the they'd be sold out or something. I wish they had a uh, um, God, man, if you guys have this bait, you guys know what I'm talking about. The action on this is crazy good. Let's, uh, I'm gonna try out the, um, the old jerky bait. Let's see if we can get anything on that. And then I might come back to this place a little later. I think I'm gonna leave this place in a couple minutes, um, but I will come back maybe a little bit later. I have another spot in mind. Um, I, the only reason why I came here real quick was because I could, I remember the water clarity being like really good, like really clear. So, and um, well, I mean, it would have been nice to catch fish. Yeah, don't get me wrong, but, but I just came here really to test out those swim baits I got and to see you know uh, how uh, well they look in the water I really hate having a jerk bait on here on this rod because I'm used to it being on a bait caster or working my jerk baits on a bait caster but um I guess I just have to get used to it but um, I don't know maybe I just won't do it again all right guys Right off the back at the new spot, I already see like crazy amount of bass. Not huge bass, but decent sized bass. Maybe in the pound to two pound, in the one pound to two pound range. Like look at this right here, guys. It's a nice bass right there. Freak guys, I missed I missed the hook set on this. I oh my god, I can't believe I freaking was not recording. This is this is ridiculous. First fish of the day. It's kind of not a bad one. About a pound. But he freaking he came out of those. I don't know if you guys can see those free that tall grass right there. Literally hook came right out. Look at this. First fish of the day, guys. Put you back in the water quick. But yeah, man, he literally just came, darted out of those freaking grass, that tall grass right there, and annihilated this freaking bait. I seen a bunch of smaller ones actually um, hanging out there, and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna try and catch one of these small ones. I thought I hit record, but I guess I did it. And, um, then I see this one come out of there and I mean just darts out of there all right guys made it to a spot that I personally have never been to but a buddy of mine told me about so first two spots first two or three spots were I only caught one fish and unfortunately I didn't Catch the hook set on camera, so I feel like I need to step my game up a little bit. Try and catch something for you guys out here. Oh, I just sunk in that.
You are cold. Some fish out here chasing bait. I seen them. Hey, turtle. Oh my God, guys. I caught my first fish here. And it's a good one. It's a good one. Oh, he came up for it. Oh my God. I seen him come up for it. Wow, that's a freaking giant, guys. Go get my skill. It's a beautiful fish, guys. Look at it. Oh, freak yeah. I was thinking about three, three and a half pounds, but I don't know. Might be two and a half, maybe three, if I'm lucky. Two twelve. That's a good fish, guys. It's a really good fish. It looks like it's been caught before. Oh man, I seen him come up for it, guys. And after that, it was it was game all over. It's two and two and three quarters. That's what it is. Oh, that's what I'm talking about, guys. while we try new spots. Tore up my bug, but that's okay. That's why we buy more. Oh, that's what I'm talking about, guys. That's freaking awesome feeling. Coming to a spot you've never been to, you know, and I was starting to reel in that cast. I was just starting, I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna cast this again and try over. And sure enough, as I'm reeling it in, freaking came up for it and destroyed it. Absolutely, absolutely inhaled that freaking bug. Oh. What's going on, guys? Thank you guys for tuning in to another video. Like I said, today was going to be a grind for a fish, and it was. Um, I caught two fish, and like I like I said before, I had to work for them. Unfortunately, I didn't catch anything on the baby bullshit or the uh, new Biospawn XO swim baits that I just recently uh, got in the mail, but I did catch him on the uh, Berkeley uh, Crawls. I can't remember the name on him. I'll link him down below. Um, but, you know, two fish is better than no fish. And even if I were to have gotten stuck today, 
I had fun and that's all that matters. Um, hope you guys enjoy the video. Hit a thumbs up. Make sure you guys subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. And like always, 